happy Memorial Day. We are officially crossing the border into Switzerland from France to go to Zermatt to do some hiking there before we head back to Milan. We're gonna go see the Matterhorn. Mm -hmm. I've heard it's amazing, so yeah. I'm super excited to see that. So we spent the last few days in France and now we are just going to end our trip with some hiking in Switzerland because we figured why not, we're already here and we probably won't be back here anytime soon. So yeah. we're gonna do it all now. The route from Mont Blanc to uh, Zermatt takes us through the south of just Lake Geneva, which is the route that we decided to take. Yeah. Uh, very easy to cross over the border, and it is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. We pass through this town called Evian, and if uh, you're familiar with it, that's where the water's from. <laughs> water. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's been really cute, and crossing the borders everywhere has been insanely easy, so that's a plus. Also, the, there are tolls on the roads whenever you're driving through France, through Italy, and through Switzerland, so if you drive through there, be prepared. Going through the tunnel of Mont Blanc to get into France was like 50 euros. Yeah. And each of the tolls within France was about, we decided to take the toll roads because if not, it would be like an additional hour. Mm -hmm. And it was like about 4.8 euros yeah. each. You so. go through like two or three of them, so just kind of be prepared for that. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. So if you can save money on other aspects of your trip, save money on other aspects of your trip. Alright, so made it to Zermatt. Number one, it is cold. Number two, it is expensive. Just to come to Zermatt from the bottom train station, it is 2016 Swiss francs, which is more in American dollars. And then to come from this to the very top where all the hiking is, it's an additional 26 Swiss francs. Very, very expensive. Muito, muito caro. But I think if you plan accordingly and you stay here for a long time, you can have a Swiss card. So it's like a pass. And I think that makes it cheaper. Fernando and I obviously just came for the day, very sporadic. Obviously do your research if you wanna come or watch this video so you learn from my mistakes. There's also a helicopter transporting items right above me. So that's actually really cool. But anyway, just gonna go ahead and say that we are gonna hike here on the first floor or the first level of the train so then we only spent 16 euros. But it's gorgeous, you can see the Matterhorn and it's beautiful. It's worth it, it's gorgeous, life is short. What if I can ever come back here? Who knows what if the world shuts down? Do what you can when you can and do it now. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so on this hike we found an interesting historical landmark, built in 1951, is a dam called the Grand 
do you see your I see or something? It's it's Dixion. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, it's really, really cool. And it was built in 1951 until I think 1965. Five. So it's the tallest gravity dam in the world. Great. Which also supplies uh, a fifth of the energy for Switzerland and Europe. Yeah, Isn't that that's crazy. Pretty cool. So awesome. we're here now. Um, like I said, we weren't able to go to the other hiking areas in Zermatt since we're only going to be here for the day. But this is pretty cool. If you're yeah. not, if you're not able to go all the way to the top, or you don't want to spend 26 euros for a ride there and back, this is an interesting hike. Yeah, it's I'll cool. name the, the. I'll write the hike down below, but I um I don't remember what it's called now, or I can't pronounce it. It's really it starts with an F. Yeah, the pronunciation is hard. <laughs> Sorry. Really bad. Really hard. Switzerland is an absolutely beautiful country. I feel extremely blessed to be here and also can't get over the views. Can't get over it. If you've never been to Switzerland, you've got to come. It's honestly gorgeous. Every corner you look is picturesque. I feel like taking my camera out and filming everything, but I need to enjoy it. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our drive from Switzerland to Italy. It was honestly extremely breathtaking. We decided to stay in a cute little hotel pretty close to Milan airport so we can just fly out in the morning. Unfortunately, when we got to the airport, we found out that our flight was delayed for over five hours. But then fortunately, we decided to take Delta Airlines and we got upgraded to first class. That is a huge benefit and perk to being airline crew is getting upgraded to first class, especially on international flights. The seats on this airplane, which was the 767, were able to lie completely flat, so I was able to get pretty good rest on this plane. We also were given really nice amenity kits that have chapstick, hand lotion, eye masks, earplugs, socks, and a bunch of other goodies. You can watch TV the whole time, you get some drinks, you get amazing food services, one for your lunch service and then one for your arrival service, which was fabulous. I thought that the food on Delta was amazing, so no complaints for me. I thought it was extremely tasty. And overall, the service was incredible. Of course, they give you a blanket in case you get cold, so that's awesome. This was the perfect way to end my birthday trip, and I couldn't be more thankful and grateful to be able to have experienced this. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support, and I will see you in the next one. Beijingus. Ciao, ciao.